that we talked to say that they are just devastated to see what this fire did to this neighborhood. Uh, earlier today, you'll notice that fire crews are still here just across the street. It's difficult to make them out as it is quite dark out at this point, but they were going through with flashlights, still investigating, still trying to figure out exactly what happened. But neighbors who live along this street told us two things today, how quickly this fire moved and just how windy it was here today. All right. While running to get a hose and to alert his neighbors, Ricardo Contreras started filming. When I came out front, the neighbors were getting all the other neighbors. So everybody came as a team and were able to locate and get everybody out and uh, to safety in a, a good distance. His home is still standing after fire devastated others on his street Saturday afternoon. Well, there's my house. This is what it looked like on 11th Avenue in Olivehurst in Yuba County. Other homes were not spared. You know, thank God. Um, that I still have my house. I feel for the others. First responders from law enforcement to firefighters and PG&E filled the neighborhood for hours as those nearby tried to piece together exactly what happened. I got grabbed my babies and got out. My mom started packing what she could and it was very fast, very fast, very scary. Amanda Bray snapped these photos saying she saw the smoke first. So I was visiting my mom who lives here on the corner and my sister and I brought our babies over and my sister and my mom were in conversation and I look up and I see a little bit of smoke at first in the air and I just pointed it out to them and then pretty soon you hear someone yell fire and then people started running from the house. It was like three or four houses down. Meanwhile, Edward Maples heard it before he saw it. We just watched the TV. Me and my brother heard this boom, boom, boom. Resources are being made available to the families impacted by the fire as the investigation begins. And officials did say late tonight that those four structures were destroyed. We know that at least one home is among those structures. It's just across the street, just there. We do know that there are some resources available for families who may need them. That's at the Yuba County Health and Human Services building. I have that address for you if you want to jot that down. 5730 Packard Avenue. We're told there's also some services available if you have animals. We saw quite a few pets in this neighborhood today, but again, everyone that we talked to just devastated in all of her. Leanne Denyer, KCRA 3 News.